This is what I'm hopefully calling the last version of the Pi Corder, version 10. Version 10 relates to the number of circuit boards that I've soldered and messed up, 10th being the successful one. What we have is we have a project box with all the innards in it. We have an LCD screen with four lines and an I2C I backpack, which is up there. Um, other boards in here are the Easy Pulse sensor, which takes in a, um, a fingertip sensor through, through the side, it's that green blob, um, and does heart rate. We have a microphone for measuring sound levels. We have an MQ7 carbon monoxide sensor, an MQ2 flammable gas sensor, a ultrasonic distance sensor, the SRO4. On this side we have a GPS, ultimate, the Adafruit Ultimate GPS board, um, Wi-Fi wi dongle communicating with it. Got some bits and pieces that are going to go on the board there. And instead of a regular Pi cobbler, we've got a Noisette Keyline Pi, which has got an onboard MCP3008 analog to digital converter. Okay, now to put it all together. This is the this is the main circuit board um, with various pins on an onboard um, accelerometer chip, not chip, um, breakout board thing, and a button, just a normal boring tactile button, um, and various headers for slotting chips onto, which we'll get into that in a minute. Inside the case, I've got a battery pack which is a 7.8 amp USB battery pack with a built-in micro USB connector, which is very handy. So that's going to go in there. And we're going to plug that into the Pi. Oh, this is a, an old... Um, plastic case that I've cut up just to shield the pie a little bit. You'll see a lot of black tape in this where I've yet to use black tape to hold the thing together. I missed the sensor, moisture sensor. It's an oct octopus soil, mo soil moisture sensor. Right, now to put it all together. is when we find out that I can't remember what order put put things together in. Put the MQ7 in. Put the MQ2 in. Put the ultrasonic in. Making sure that I've got that the right way around. Oh, I can never remember which way around that goes. Note to self, always put right down what order things go in. I think it's that way around. Remember from last time, plug the moisture sensor in now because you can't get at it later. Put the key lime pie in.
and then plug the GPS in. That one I know which way around it goes. Now to connect up the last piece to arrive, which is the Easy Pulse. Been waiting for this for weeks. everything else is put in first. This is a um, barometer breakout board. It's got barometer, temperature and I think it's got altitude on it. It's a BMP085. It's in there. It's a little analog humidity sensor. Slightly dubious as to whether that one works correctly. But then it has been on about five different versions of this board, so it has been it's been plenty soldered. Last but not least, we have the old reliable TMP one oh two, which is a temperature sensor. And then this one last one for the L C D, which is a bit tight because the cable only just reaches. This is where we find the lid doesn't go down. There you go, nice. Nice and neat, he says, holding the lid down. And then we do, of course, use every maker's favourite tool, the ever useful blue tack. Too much blue tack. Which goes on there to hold the temperature sensor on. I've forgotten to bring the pulse, the pulse sensor up with me, but it goes into there. And that will probably be secured with another bit of blue tack there. But I'll add that on later. And that is the pie quarter. Point out some of the slightly naff handy work going on. We have a little notch so I can plug mains power in when the battery runs out. There. That's so I can get at the button. An incredibly naff bit of dremeling, but it does mean I can stick my finger in and press the button. And, um, oh yeah, the on off switch, which is the battery, which I can only just about get my finger onto. And that is the final version of the pie order. <laughs>